Hi, this is the this is the GoGo Gamer, and today I'm going to review a real piece of crap that I thought would be good because I like this series, but this one's an exception. Is Prince of Persia for the Xbox 360? Now, I have Prince of Persia um, Rival Swords on the PSP in here. Let's just go look at it. Oh, there goes my phone. Prince of Persia Rival Swords for the PSP. My PSP is right there, but um, this game here, which I might review later if I can figure out how to review games on handheld systems, which is really hard, but this game is awesome. This game sucks a lot. I don't know, there are so many differences between this game and this game that this game puts the Prince of Persia series dis to disgrace. It disgraces it. It's so bad. But, anyway. I might do a review of Rival Swords one day so you can see the difference. There's also a Wii version, but I just happen to have the PSP version. But, we're going to review this piece of crap. Which, as I said, is the worst... Well, I didn't say it was the worst Prince of Persia game yet, but it is. But, it is a very bad Prince of Persia game and puts all the others to shame. Anyway, let's start the review. Alright, well let's start reviewing this crappy game. Let's turn the 360 on. Wait for it to start. Dying black spot? Go away. Oh, and just so you guys know, I've figured out how to record gameplay through my DVD player, and... I'm gonna do that, like, I, I downloaded this DVD ripper called AOA DVD Ripper, but, um, it's supposed to rip DVD content off DVDs, and I'm trying to get it to rip content off of my DVDs, but for some reason, it, it'll rip off any other DVD but the DVDs I use to record gameplay. I mean, I've already recorded gameplay for a whole nother review, but I just can't get it off. So that review is not going to be up for a while, but I figured I'd do this one in the meantime. But if anybody can give me some help on some DVDs that are compatible with AOA DVD Ripper, that would be nice. But anyway, let's start the Prince of Persia review. So if I can get that um, DVD Ripper to work, my video's quality will improve dramatically. I'll record all gameplay, and that'll help a lot instead of me using my video camera. I'll still use my camera for, like, beginning and ending stuff, you know what I mean. But, let's open the disc flap. Disc tray, I mean. Put in the crappy game. Look, it sticks. Isn't that cool? Close it and start the game. Prince of Persia. The crappiest Prince of Persia ever. No, go away, black spot. There it is. Alright. Now we will start the review. Alright, this is a little bit of the beginning cutscene of the game, and... Well, it's kind of freaky, but that's not really important. This is where the game really starts. So, you get a pretty cool looking cutscene. But, cool cutscenes often just lie about the actual game. So, he's looking for his donkey named Farah in a sandstorm. Now, does this prince look like any other prince that you've seen in any of the Prince of Persia games? No, it doesn't. Lara! Then there's this lady running away from these guys. And he decides to help the lady. After she lands on him.
you know, doesn't this kind of remind you of more like a, a family movie or something made by like Pixar or Disney than an actual game? These cutscenes remind me of like Aladdin or something. Okay, so you first have to start by walking around and finding the lady. And then you move the control stick to move, press A to jump. One second, I've got to find a place to put my camera. Alright, sorry, I just had to get my camera in the spot where I could actually play and record at the same time. It just wasn't like that at the moment. But, um, so yeah, the first level you just run and jump a lot. The, actu the first part of this game actually isn't that bad. But then after the first, like, two levels, it really starts to suck. So then, um, you hold A and jump on the wall or run on the wall. But I'm just gonna skip all this. You don't really need to see it. You All you really do is just jump around and run up walls. It's just a tutorial. So I'll get to the next part in a second. Alright, so now we're at this next cutscene where she gets cornered and you help her for no apparent reason. We can talk about this. Okay, so you're not a conversationalist. This is how you fight. You press X to f do your sword and B for gauntlet attacks, whatever that is. And right trigger to block. And this lady has like light powers, so it's really weird. Why are you following me? I'm not. I'm looking for Farrell. I heard you yelling. You and your girlfriend should get out of here. Girlfriend? Farrell's <laughs> not my girlfriend. She's my donkey. Farrell's not my girlfriend. She's my donkey. That I actually find kind of funny. One of the only good things in this game. That one joke. If they don't see you with me, you'll be alright. Hey, you! Wanna tell your advice better next time? Alright, I'm just gonna skip all this too. More cutscenes. I don't know why I'm recording them all. Another weird thing about this game is the kind of cartoonish style, but... Oh, and she can, like, save you in the game. I'll explain that later. How did you... Whoa! I got you. They're moving! That way! Come on! You better get out Okay, now this part's really stupid because you're carrying her, so it get, goes all slow. But, um... You think able to do magic isn't anything to do with why they're trying to kill us? They're not trying to kill us. They're trying to kill you. Okay, fine. Keep your secrets. But at least tell me how to... This part's kind of boring. No, I can't leave. So I'll just skip it. Another thing boring about this game is the sword fights. They're really slow. In other Prince of Persia games, they're just regular sword fights. But all these are... Are just a button pressing fest. And when you press the buttons, different animations happen. That's all it is. So it's boring. You have a tree. You guys worship a tree? Alright, so this part I just gotta follow her. Kinda boring. Now, there's only one level that I actually like in this game, and it's the one that's coming up next. And I'll show you that part just in a second after all this.